A veteran nonprofit in Cabot is looking for a new building after learning just a week ago theirs was being foreclosed on. THV 11's Jalissa Garza spoke with the organization about what's next and how you can help. At the Cabot Business Complex, Lies Feed the Veterans, a nonprofit that makes sure veterans don't go without. We are a veterans food pantry and we're open to all vets in the state of Arkansas. You don't have to live in a certain area. You don't have to be in a certain school district. We don't ask income. The nonprofit operates like a grocery store. So the veteran comes in, grabs a grocery cart and gets what he or she wants to help them through to the end of the month. Dianca Hickey is the founder and says she started it after seeing a need. I work at the VA hospital and so I see a lot of veterans that need a little extra help. Over the last six years, they've grown, serving more people each year. Well, the very first open we had, we had eight veterans come through and we had 187 pounds of food go out. In this past June, just uh, this June, we had 100 veterans come through and we provided food for 267 family members. Hickey says in the past year, they've seen an increase of veterans needing help. We've seen a 32% increase. But right now, they're looking for a new building. After learning last week, they can't stay in this one anymore. We were notified that the bank is defaulting on our landlord. We were paying our rent, which was $1,000 a month, religiously. And then all of a sudden, we get told they're going to foreclose on our building. They haven't been told when they need to be out, which Hickey says is stressful. That really put us in a cramp and it put us in a panic because we don't know how long we have. We don't know, you know, how much it's going to cost us to be able to move. In the meantime, they plan to continue helping veterans who need it. We're not going to close down. We're going to we're going to continue this service. In Cabot, Jalissa Garza, THV 11 News. The group is already working with Mayor Kincaid in Cabot and other council members to find a new home. We have more information on how you can donate to the cause right now at THV11.com.